Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Iron Sheik eighty four, and uh, I uh, wanted to make a quick announcement that I'm super excited about. Uh, I hit my Twitch affiliate yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, actually. Uh, losing time. It's uh, uh, April fourth. So on Sunday, I got the invitation to be a Twitch affiliate. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, my streams are. Still going to probably focus more on uh, WWE Champions and other things, but uh, I just really got in the mood to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of my favorite games of all time. So, uh, yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Let me just fix one thing on my camera that I didn't realize. Um... Whoa, that's way too much. <laughs> Hey, all right, there we go. So, uh, yeah. Make sure this plays properly. Failed to boot. PlayStation BIOS files found. That's weird. I have one. Okay, there you go. Make this a little bit bigger. Thought I had the games capture perfect earlier. Apparently I didn't. Some growing pains. There we go. Should be good enough. Hey, Yusuf, how's it going? I'm finally playing something that isn't WWE Champion, so I'm sure y'all are very happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just wanted to play uh, one of my favorite games of all time. Alright, so just as a heads up to anybody who uh, watched this, I don't know any of the uh, of the tech to do all the weird glitches and whatnot, so... Oh, uh, by the way, Yusuf, is it too loud or is the volume and everything okay? What's up, J-Man? Yeah, I, uh... I, uh, I wanted to do something non-WWE Champions related for once and, uh, play a game that I really enjoy. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Yeah, I don't want to talk during the dialogue. But you see, like, you know, it's like the little touches, how, like, he, uh... 
how his little goblet was full until uh, until he threw, a, a, you know, a, it was full and then he drank it and then uh, threw it out. I forget how to do a Hydro Storm. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. Ugh. If I lose, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot, you get a full health refill. <laughs> Alright, so that's a little embarrassing, I had to get the full health refill from her, but... There we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I still have my PS2 somewhere, J-Man. I, I, it's somewhere in my attic, I think, or in our garage. It was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter, who succeeded in finally ending the menace of drought, Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shaft. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate inter intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, the very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, has submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now, he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time once again, uh, the time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man shall say who shall emerge victorious. Yeah, we still have all of our, uh, all of our old consoles, J-Man. Um, it's, uh, I don't have, uh, what is it, the Elgato or whatever it is that allows you to, you know, play off of a console. I mean, I'd rather do that, but um, this is going to be the next best solution for me. All right, now that's that's done. Moving on to uh, the main uh, protagonist of our story here, Mr. Alucard, which is Dracula spelled backwards, of course. Oops. So, um, I don't know glitches and stuff to this game, and it's not like I'm going to be doing this the whole way, but um, you see how this dash starts and ends? Well, if you time it correctly and uh, press the uh, press the shield button, uh, it'll allow you to sustain a dash, and it's actually faster than walking. Um, now, now that's what the speed run, uh, that's what speedrunners and whatnot do. Uh, again, I'm not a speedrunner, so uh, I'm just gonna be playing through the game. Um, no weird glitches, no uh, no speed strats and whatnot, but it'll be fun. I don't know why this keeps freezing up on me. Oh, come on. There we go. 
go. Will it be fun? Yeah! Dude, I love this game. What's up, Yodoni? Uh, Alucard. What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. Who you will meet again. Here you go, you're stripped of all your OP armor and whatnot. So back to square one, and here's where the game really begins. Here we go. go short sword. So that's typically your first... Hey, what's up, Phil? How are you doing, sir? Oh shit, you're my first subscriber! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, I finally got one! <laughs> oh, not much, just uh, another day in paradise, what can I say? Alright, well congrats Phil, you're my first, uh, you're my first subscriber ever. <laughs> it's Pretzelekia. Zoe, now whenever I uh, hit candles, stuff will fall out. There we go. Okay, um... Hang on, let me, let me do something real quick. It'll just be one second. I don't know why this uh, place is freezing up so much. Yeah, I'm playing this on an emulator, but uh, usually I just run stuff off my external drive, and I don't know why it's acting up. I don't know if it's the... If it's the... Uh, the emulator or if it's the game itself but let me just let me just try this real quick load content c parent directory All right, uh, under here, no. Yeah, well, what is that? I just saved it, so I mean, it'll, it'll just be a second. I don't know. Um... Okay, yeah, I can do I, I can definitely put that. There we go.
Diffusers, Espiani. Oh, for the love of God, seriously. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's Phil Pilecchia, Yusuf. Metroarch data folder. There's all that. Config. Downloads. Where the hell does that folder go? Oh, there it is. All right. We are almost done. See users Espiani app data roaming retroarch downloads Okay, there we go. Hopefully that should fix it. There we go, okay. I'm hoping it's, it's not as jittery now. I'm just playing it off my uh, off my computer versus off my uh, external. Oh, really? Yeah, well. Alrighty. Ugh. I thought this was supposed to save it, but I guess it didn't. Alright, we get to see the Richter fight one more time. Monster, Sir. you don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay, pay me, me tribute. tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as and, empty as and your soul. Mankind ill needs yeah, a like savior I said, see the little such goblet. as you. And now it's empty. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Okay, so what I was trying to do earlier is 
If you do the Hydro Storm and throw uh, one of the, uh, and throw a Holy Water, it does like double or triple damage. Yeah, the first Castlevania is definitely hard. Uh, I went back and beat uh, Castlevania 1 and 3 because uh, I just, uh, I never did it as a kid and I always wanted to, but ugh, damn, it's not exactly one of the uh, easiest games that I've ever played. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, so, uh, when you're playing on a, on a new save plus, you can skip cutscenes and whatnot, but I can't right now, so I'm gonna have to sit through this again. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to do it. Oh, well, I mean, I know how it's done, but I don't know how to do it exactly. But yeah, uh, this is the game where if you lose uh, over half of your health and attack, it'll like do the the way knockback. And uh, of course, yeah, there's there is a clock tower with uh, with the bells and bats and whatnot. Hopefully round two is going to go a lot smoother than round one did. There we go. Well, no, pits aren't a thing in this game. Now, there are definitely, like, uh, areas you can and can't get over, but it's not so bad in this one. Alright, so, uh, just as a little side note, you see this little gate that's right here. Um, there's actually this is actually an extra area in the Saturn version uh, that's not the PlayStation version. And even if you do somehow manage to glitch your way in here, um, the only thing that's in there is a corrupted. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna make sure to say this time. And uh, but yeah, there's 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 a like a corrupted save room, and that's about it. But in the Saturn version of this game, uh, it's a whole extra area to go through. Now, the Saturn version only came out in Japan, uh, not the US for whatever reason. Um, I have played it though, and it is fantastic. Uh, I really wish that. Uh, So is it in the Xbox, uh, the 360 version um, that was in the store, or uh, I don't know. I've only I've only ever played the PSX version, and then I played this on the PSP as well. 
Same thing with the, what is it, with the, the Rondo, that Rondo of Blood remake. I'll go ahead and give this one shot, so if you time this correctly... Oh, hey, I did it first try! All right! <laughs> so you're supposed to be able to do that whenever you have the the double jump or the bat, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a heart refresh that you can get. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, I can't do those weird... Uh, what is it? The, the screen warps and whatnot, but I can, I can... I got that jump first try, so I'm pretty happy. Go, got the short sword. Oh yeah, I forgot it. That's not the save room. Alright. There we go. Red rust. Okay. So I thought this created a save file. I don't know why, uh see data saved, that's what I thought. Zoe again. Let me see if there's save state options. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and make a save state there so that way in case I run into any issues again that I'm good to go. So Yusuf, uh, I forget, did we buy this game or did we rent it from Blockbuster first? There we go, got our first, uh... Got our first armor too. I just talked to somebody the other day. I, I miss going to, to uh, you know, like to my local rental shop and uh, seeing what there was. Yeah. So uh, back when back when uh, my brothers and I were kids, um, you know, uh, there was a pharmacy called Eckerd's, and. Uh, they, there was like, there was an Eckerd's, uh, Eckerd's was pretty much like, think of the same thing as like a Walgreens or a CVS, you know, they had their drug, they had their pharmacy area, and then they had, and then they rented movies and things, um, but, you know, it's like, they were much cheaper than Blockbuster, so, um, what, what, you know, uh, yeah, so what would happen is, uh, on Saturday mornings before my mom would go to work, ah, oh, damn it, I'm trying to do the, uh, the skip here too. Um, but whatever, I'll just toss it the way. Um, my mom would take a Saturday morning before she went to work, uh, because new release movies were 99 cents, and the, uh, quote-unquote older movies were, uh, 49 cents. 
And I think games were uh, buck forty nine or buck ninety nine or something like that. You know, and of course they had like you know the Sega Genesis and all that stuff. So that's the way you were supposed to go and lower that. Um, but Saturday mornings, uh, you know, I'd get all excited because my mom would take me, and then you know it's like if I save my allowance, you know, it's like we pick up some popcorn or whatever, and uh, we would rent two or three movies or we'd get a video game, and then my brothers and I would maximize our weekend as best as we could uh, with the movies and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, that was, uh, that w those would always be our weekends, is uh, my brothers and I watching a few movies, playing video games and everything. So, I mean, definitely, definitely great times with uh, with, with Yosef and Yahoo. It's where we played Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for the first time. It's, uh, we played, uh, Evo, is, what is it, the Evolution of Eden, I think. Um, some great games, watched some fabulous movies. Really good childhood. Alright, so with this thunder, um, I don't think there's any place else that I can break here. There's a little castle. There's a little map of the castle. I don't want to hit that because it'll poison. I don't want to drop the bomb because it'll poison me. Yep. And then, uh, go. You put that there. And then it goes, lets you get here. Good thing I didn't bonk my head. So little by little, we are oh, I don't have anything to equip here. I got nothing there for right now. So yeah. Get some more hearts. Whoops. Metroid. Oh, come on. I hit that axe. There we go. Alright, so I'm mostly just hitting these because I want to level up. Phil. Yeah, I, uh, I think I've beaten Super Metroid a total of, like, one time in my life, <laughs> and even that was a long time ago, so yeah, for me to 100% it would probably take me, <laughs> like, what is it, the, the intended, like, 10, 12, 20 hours or whatever it is. What's over here? Oh, yeah. So it's going to be one of the uh, first things that you're going to buy. It's agically sealed. This is uh, going to be our first uh, boss battle here. Oops, I'm out of hearts, but I beat him, and then... Um, 
There we go. There we go. Beat him with the magic spell. Yeah, so, uh... My parents would only allow me to play video games on the weekends, uh, or any day, or, or any days that we were off from school. So yeah, so a game like that would have uh, would have taken uh, would have taken an entire weekend for me to play. Um, my parents they just they didn't want they didn't want video games to get in the way of school. So yeah, I had like I said, I had the exact same rules that you did, Phil. sunglasses, a tan leather cuirass, well-made but shabby-looking cape, a low defensive shield, and a short sword. I'm ready to go. I believe if you... Yeah. Take it down. Yard. And this is the part that I was gonna skip. So uh, if you hit the, if you hit it on the right, if you knock it down on here, you can time a jump to uh, to get up there and kind of skip skip that. But that sword isn't particularly that great, so you're not like really missing out on much or uh, doing a huge uh, what is it sequence break by uh, by 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 doing it this way. Hopefully, I'll be able to get myself. Sword quickly. There we go. Oh damn it! I don't want the ah uh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to fall in the hole. I wanted that axe back, but whatever. It's not like you use the sub weapons all that much anyway. Said, just trying to get some experience right now. Uh, forget, do these poison you or they turn you to stone with those drops? Let's see. My health back. Alright, yes. Nah, I'd rather not. I don't know. I'm sure I'll probably get hit by it at some, some point. <laughs> Alright. Get going. Oops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, and whoops. 
Got a potion. Another hundred dollars. I don't want the salt thingies. Pick up a dollar. Yeah, I, like, you know, one of the things that I miss about video games, uh, is, uh, you know, it's like, I read through the manual of this thing, like, over and over and over. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's like, I forget, I forget exactly what it is, but it's like, it's some sort of, um, like, blessed salt or something like that. Um, but I like the, uh, reflective crystal thingy better. Alright, we made it to the marble gallery now. Switch to the holy water. There we go. Man, it's like I gotta tell you, I just I was in the I was in, I was just really in the mood to play this, but uh, the soundtrack, all that good stuff, I mean this is I mean Dagger. Another save room. Table came back. Uh, actually, Phil, it's funny you say that. So, uh, the yellow S2K. Um, I, I sold it back in 2012 or something like that, but Yusuf and Yaakov actually surprised me with another one. Um, so yeah, I actually, yeah, I do, I do have an S2000 again. Yeah, and I actually went to, uh, so I actually went to an S2000 meet for the first time in, like, a decade, uh, several weeks back. So, I mean, it was just, you know, just brought back some good memories of, uh, you know, I mean, not that I went to the meets and stuff all that much to begin with when I had my original one. But, uh, oh yeah, Yosem and Yakubar are definitely awesome. Oh, damn it. Uh, but yeah, I went to, yeah, I went to meet, um, have you ever been to Hutchinson's Barbecue? Um, well, I know, I know the, uh, the McKinney location had a fire, so they've been temporarily shut down, and, uh, it's actually next to my office, so I used to go there for lunch, uh, every once in a while, uh, but, yeah, they, they held a, they held a community drive or whatever, and then they, uh, okay, I wanted that. Uh, they they had a community drive which I I couldn't get to because I just I wasn't uh, oh, no. wrong but relics spirit orb yeah that shows enemy damage okay just want to make sure um, and then uh, afterwards they had a they had a they had a group lunch thingy so I went and you know talked to the newbies. Uh, None of them, I, I, you know, it was funny, whenever I went, you know, whenever I went to my first meet, I was the youngest person who had an S2000, and then uh, when I went to this one, they're like, everybody was pretty much my age, or a lot older, so, it was just, it was kind of funny how, like, full circle, uh, that stuff happens, but, yeah, I, I had a really, like I said, I had a really good time. Oops. And all of these. Heart, heart. Okay, 
okay. <laughs> thought, <I was> gonna <laughs> thought he was gonna smash me to oblivion. Cancel, cancel Google. Cancel. All right, I don't know. Somehow I set off my one of my other devices. Oops. Oh, dang it. Okay. Alrighty, man. Yeah, I, uh, what is it? I'm not extending, ex uh, I'm not gonna sit and beat the whole game in one sitting, so, yeah, if you're able to stay on, cool. If not, don't worry about it. Okay, so, this is one of the, um, I know I'm back at the beginning, so these, uh, so around the castle, I have, like, these little shortcut areas, but I'm definitely gonna get my health back. And I'm going to Save state options. Save state. Okay, there we go. Since my memory card thing doesn't seem to work, I don't think it's cheating for me to do a save state at a at one of those locations anyway. While I'm thinking about it, I just want to do one thing real quick. It's just taking a super short break. Go. Let me just. Alright, Phil, I'm going to send you a whisper real quick. Oh, come on, add friend. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna. It, it wasn't. It wouldn't let me whisper. It, yeah, but Phil, if you want to see it, that's that's uh, that's uh, that's the new one. 
the the Alex said the yellow one is a uh, long gone although uh, funny enough uh, I actually saw uh, several years after I had uh, after I've sold it um, I was just looking on Craigslist for the hell of it I mean I wasn't I wasn't looking to purchase one I was just whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there you go, and the <laughs> and the whole uh, explanation of things. But yeah, the uh... yeah, uh, like I was saying, um... I don't know. I don't know what possessed me. I wasn't looking to buy one, but I was just looking on S on S two thousands on Craigslist, just kind of seeing like, okay, hey, what's out there. And um, this could have been like 2014, 2015 or something like that, but I actually saw my S2000 for sale from the guy who bought it. And like, I'm like, I 10,000% knew that it was mine because uh, while he had fixed some of the paint issues and things on the door, um, there was a, um, there was a telltale uh, blue wire that uh, I just, I never knew how to, oh shit. <laughs> There's a blue wire that was uh, that was hanging out, and I had no idea how to you know how to get that taken care of. And I mean, I tried tucking it away, and there wasn't anything to zip tie it to. But yeah, I was just like, oh hey, look, it's my car. And like, I halfway, um, I mean, like, I wouldn't have done. I mean, I know I'm saying this. Uh, realistically, I wasn't. You know, I wouldn't have bought it back. But I was just like, you know, it's like there's a piece of me I'm like, oh hey, you know, I wonder if I should buy back, you know, the original, you know, like my original car. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't do it even if I had the money for it at the time. And then um, the guy was just being super shady about it too because uh, Yusuf, uh, I think it was either Yusuf or Yaku like messaged him saying like, oh hey, I think I remember seeing this car for sale before. And uh, the guy was saying he's like. He's like, oh yeah, well, blah, 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 this and that. And, uh, you know, like, uh, my friend's the one that gave it to me. And I was like, dude, what about your fucking friend? And then um, my brother, like, asked him, it's like, oh, hey, you know, it's like, if it's the same one that I'm thinking of, you know, it's like, I remember blah, 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 blah. I think, you know, it's like it was uh, one of my valves started ticking. And uh, what is it? Uh, I'd, ordered, I'd ordered a replacement door because somebody had hit it while I was at Bank of America um, at work. And, uh, but it, it, the guy told me it was spa yellow and not Rio yellow, so it was a miscolored door. And my brother had asked about that too, and the guy was like, oh, no, 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 it's all original parts. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes, like, you know, it's like I kind of wish I could find out what happened to it, but on the same token, that thing was cursed to hell, and I'm glad I don't have it anymore. It's not my problem. Although I did have some wonderful times in that car. I remember I got, I, I mean, like, I legit, like, I got so teary-eyed whenever I sold it. But, you know, life always brings you new opportunities and whatnot. And I don't mean to say that to sound like uh, one of those stupid motivational posters or whatever. But, you know, um... I've had a lot more good things in life come my way than, you know, than a stupid car, so very thankful for that. Okay, uh, yeah, okay that's where I got the spirit orb. So I think my next I think my next uh oh, come on. So, intelligence goes up, defense goes down, whatever, I'll just... Alright. Kinda wish I hadn't died to that one creature multiple times, but hey. Shit happens. Alright. On the way to Clock Tower. Alright, get 
some of my health back. And now on the clock tower. These little gnomes, which are annoying as hell from the original Castlevania. Wait now we're introduced to Maria. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Alright, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, so, uh, I do have, uh, so the regular family car is a Honda Pilot. Uh, but yeah, I take that out on the weekends, and whenever the weather's good, I'll, uh, you know, I'll go for a cruise. There you go. Why can't I make that jump? Is there even anything up here? Okay, whatever. I'll try. I'll come back. Hey, man, the golf's a great car. Yusuf, uh... Yusuf had two of them. He had a white one and a black one. I don't know, uh, a, a GTI, and he loved both. He loved both of those cars. All right, can't make those jumps. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> he knocked me back. Okay, I do not want to stopwatch. Don't want the Bible. Yeah, so, um, after the sale of the original S2K, uh, I bought I bought a Civic, and I mean, like when I say like uh, I didn't buy a Type R or SI or whatever, I just had a plain old regular uh, like Honda Civic sedan, and I had that for eight years. Um, and you know when you know it's like when it was just me and my wife, uh, you know it was a you know I mean it was a it was a fine car to have, but uh, once we had the baby. Um, you know, like, whenever we would, whenever, like, you know, my parents and I would go out and the kid, you know, it's just, it was a little too much. Yeah, magically sealed. Again, I don't know why it's screwing up the end there. But, um, yeah, it's just, going out was just it being a hassle. And, um, also, the car, the car was running like a champ. I did all the, ma I, you know, I had all the maintenance done on time and everything. Um, but it just, it got to the point where, um... You know, um, it was just—it was time for me to get a new car, and uh, I decided to—I decided to go with the bigger car. Uh, you know, it's like just for space and just for space and everybody. Uh, you know, it's like and now, you know, like when you know, like when we go get groceries or whenever we have a family outing, it's just you know so much easier to you know to, to have the big car. Um, you know, and then, uh, you know, versus, uh, you know, trying to get around in a sedan.
thinking, I was like, wasn't there supposed to be some, some like, switch or something I hit in the, uh, I hit in the, in the, in that place up there that I missed? Especially in the first half of the game, you rely on your uh, your sub weapon way more than you do later on in the game. Whenever you get like good swords and whatnot. All right, so I'll go ahead and put a save state here. Yeah, but it's funny, like, you know, it's like I bought a, you know, it's like I, I got a car, you know, it's like I, I, because of COVID, I don't, uh, I don't go, I've been working from home for the last year, so I probably could have lived with, uh, having the sedan for a little bit longer, but, eh. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, hold on. I think this is where you get the Cutlass, if I remember correctly. Yeah, oh, the Gladius Sword. Ancient Sword of Rome. Oh yeah, also if I had a more professional setup, I would uh I would definitely uh have like uh, I'd have I'd have some like dual screens and whatnot and uh you know, have a TV on the side just for chat or whatever, but you know, I just do this for fun. This is this is this is Sham's time to enjoy himself. There we go. I made the jump. Got that life max up. Whatever. I'll just do this. Oh yeah, well, I mean, when you get married and you have kids, I mean, like, you know, they take precedent over, uh, playing video games and stuff, but I try to, you know, like I said, playing, playing video, doing this is my, uh, this is my me, you know, this is my me time. Oh yeah, I forgot, you have to hit that thing up there to activate the elevator, and then I believe that's where you get the wolf or the bat for the first time. Yeah, that's the, the wolf or whatever. Alright. Medusa heads. Alrighty. And the reason 
my nature to beat him is... I thought it was over here. Okay, no, it wasn't. Okay, so elevator's been activated. Try it a couple more times. If not, I think you have to do the. Uh, you have to do it as the wall. All right, one more chance, one more try, and if I don't, I don't. Then like I said I'll try it with the wolf whenever it comes around. Uh, whenever I get it. Save room. Save state. Save state. There we go. And we'll just see where this leads me so I don't forget. I think this is the first. Oops. Okay, I'll, I will skip the clock tower for now for me to finish this portion up. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate doing that. Alrighty. There we go. Got the soul of wolf. I can be a wolf. I find to break the wall. Couldn't you break the wall here or somewhere else? Could have sworn you could. Okay, so this is the first teleporter. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're in the library. Okay, so this is the library. Let me just make sure I finish everything up in the in this area. Oh, damn it. Okay, I think I might be uh, I think once I do the library and I meet the librarian, I'm gonna call it a I'm gonna call it a day and finish up playing the game tomorrow whenever I get a chance. down or up or something like that for 10 or 15 seconds and it takes you to that special area. Maybe not. I'll have, 
to, I'll have to look up a guide. Okay, so I already got that. I already came through here. Okay, so this is how I got here. Okay, I think, uh, what is that? I think I was... I don't know if the Konami code actually does anything here, Phil, but, um... Oh, is he asleep? Okay, uh, already, uh, Phil, uh, my little one, my little one fell asleep, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, so... Thank you very much, Phil. Like I said, uh, you're my first ever subscriber ever, so you can hold that in your heart <laughs> until the end of time that you were the first subscriber to this uh, humble little channel. So um, thank you very much. Um, as always, uh, for everybody who caught the stream, uh, throw me a follow at IronSheik84. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, I will uh, I will upload this as I progress it. But uh, Please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch for more uh, random console games. I play the game WWE Champions uh, way too much. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, and have a wonderful evening. Bye.